For months, during the height of the Ebola epidemic in Liberia, this building was used to house suspected Ebola patients. Some even died here awaiting beds at nearby treatment centers. The mattresses and other things were here. I saw ambulance entering from out of West Point from different communities, entering with patients that they said they have Ebola. But the former holding center, which still hasn't been completely sanitized weeks after the last Ebola patient left, is also the area's only school. Nathaniel W. Massaquoi Elementary is located in West Point, a slum community of about 75,000 on the outskirts of Monrovia and school officials registering students for classes, which are set to start nationwide on February 16th, are hearing from a concerned community. She asked me, like, the Ebola patient were in the building, where they had started cleaning up the building. And I told her they would start the process soon. Why you want to go to Because the people take Ebola patient in our school. The people tell us, they tell us, they tell us, they tell us, they tell us, the community was outraged when ambulances showed up in August delivering sick patients to the school's campus. Believing that their neighborhood had become a dumping ground for Ebola patients from other areas, hundreds of West Point residents stormed the building on August 16th and drove out 17 patients. People entered when I'm looted in the Ebola center here. So most of the people threw those things away, but the idea of people just taking those things upon their, their body, you know, it, it was like something that we couldn't get over. So we're in the community, tracing those people who did those things. While Massaquois principal, Glenn Johnson, waits for government officials to show up to remove furniture and repair damage. He is busy convincing parents that the school is safe to return to. That is the situation that, uh, we are now faced with. When we walk around the community, everybody refers to the school as an Ebola center, as, a, as an Ebola school. You know, uh, most of the parents, the children, oh, we are not going there because it's place an like Ebola center. Uh, the fear of coming back will indeed impact the enrollment. The thing that the children are going to use, they were afraid. These are the same bench that the people are going to use. The government not renovating nothing, they're not bringing new things there. They say Ebola in the country, they close the school. And today we're not yet Ebola free in the country, school is opening. So it's something that's making you afraid.